So to kick this video off, I wanna go in with my gold comb. I wanna use this comb to lift the hair off of the pattern of the client's head. And as you can see, I got one of them gray hair people in the chat. One of my OGs, my dog quitting. Like keeping it natural, but super clean and super precise. As you guys can see, shout out to my dog Quentin in this video. One of my clients that I love talking to Sweet Sport of Boxing with. We both EJ fans, Earl Spence to the world blow. So we was getting to this video with a number two guard. And we basically trimming this hair down Getting it down to that one desire and lift And I'm just prepping the haircut to, for it to be super clean Just taking my time, making sure I'm passing through the hair good as possible. I want to give a big shout out to my dog, oh, yeah, Only we, One Lil Lee, because it's Lil Mo, Sample, and Sane. It's a hit. <laughs> yeah, this be hard. So I'm just passing through, keeping that thing consistent. And then I wanna go in using my Babeless FX's towards the bottom of the uh, tape area, but towards the top of the ear. And I basically wanna create a nice roundabout and then clear this area. I know for a fact Quinn love a low ball taper, keeping everything simple. But most importantly, keeping everything efficient as possible. So I wanna clear this area, brush it out, go in completely open, using my wall 1919s with my master blade on there. And I can give myself an inch panel, drop them halfway right here, clean up in between that, and drop them completely closed. As you guys can see, it's levels. The lower I am in my fade, you know, the more closed my clipper is. The higher I am in my fade, the more open my clippers is. Now with a number two guard clearing this bulk one thing about a gray hair person is not that like it's like regular hair the gray hairs are usually stubborn so you gotta overwork yourself sometimes in some of your panels and some of your fading areas just to ensure that you can create that nice gradient effect and get them to clean tapers as well i didn't understand that part until i started cutting gray hair people and as you guys can see i go in with a one eighth guard and that's halfway closed and i'm playing in this rainbow shape area I'm just staying on the edge of my clippers, just ensuring that I'm feeding that hair through the corner part. Cause I'm gonna create that nice gradient and transition effect that's gonna give my client that nice transition, nice taper look. So, you know, I'm just looking at it from different angles. I'm zooming in just so you guys can really see what I'm doing. Cause at the end of the day, with this haircut, like I told you, these are gray hairs, they stubborn. To create that gradient effect isn't as easy. None of the hairs really want to move, but it's up to you. Like, so you have to oh, yeah, just stay yeah. consistent and just get all of the hairs out the way. As you guys can see, I'm going into the beard area, fading this up as well, cleaning it up. Just staying consistent with it. Voila, boom, go in the back. We go up at least an inch and a half just because we got more nape area to work with. I clear this whole panel out using my Babeless FX's. As you guys can see, clean section. Let's get into the fade and go up completely an inch open on my wall 1919s, giving myself more room and giving myself a nice panel to be able to create that transition in. Then I drop them halfway here, as you guys can see. Slowly but surely fade it some more. Drop them completely closed. Boom. As you guys can tell, like the fade is coming together beautifully. Like it's coming together beautifully off the strength of. I know my levels. I know exactly where I'm at in the fade. And I know this client's hair through and through. When you had them three things together, it's impossible to fail behind this chair in terms of a haircut. Super clean, super precise, and consistent. And y'all know me. Consistency is key. If you're not consistent, consistent in whatever you doing it's impossible to continuously move forward and get better at what you're doing consistency is basically practice and practice don't make perfect at all but if you put up that shot 500 times in the gym it's gonna eventually drop and if you do that daily it's gonna be nothing but net so as you guys can see i went completely open dropped them halfway butter watch i'm gonna do it on this small panel this completely open right here at least a half of an inch Boom, 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 drop them halfway. Clean this panel as well. Crazy. Like, as you guys can see, like, as, as long as you know levels, you know your guard system, you're gonna create gradiency. 
Like you're gonna create the gradient look. Now I'm gonna go in here with a one eighth guard. And I'm halfway open, I'm on the tips of the hair, and I'm just slowly but surely blending. And like I said, the lower I am towards the line, I'm gonna drop my clippers. The higher I am in the line, I'm gonna open them up. And as you guys can see, look at the taper. It's just coming together really well. And one thing I liked about Quentin is that he liked to get like a higher taper in the back, meaning it gave me real room to create that gradient effect and allow you guys to see the transition for real. I'm not gonna lie, all these Chicago videos is like so nostalgic and they like, man, just making me remember my setup, the shop environment, the people I was around, the dope clients I had. I ain't even got to none of my new footage in Tampa yet. Like, we just here and this is old footage, but it's so dope. It's just dope. I'm just, it's so nostalgic. Like, I feel, you know, the past. That's, that's just crazy to me. Area. So now we on the right side and y'all know what I like to do on this side of the client's head I just like to really connect um, with the world and in this case man like I had a big big interview in Miami uh, at a podcast and man the interview was super crazy oh, yeah. and they basically asked me one of my last questions what would I like really leave people with if I was to leave everybody in the world with a nugget and I had to really think about that for a minute. And that nugget that I'll leave people with, you know, you get people who say, uh, don't ever stop going, or stay consistent, or whatever it is. And I just feel like my response was so much different. And my response was always focus on your foundation. If you focus on your foundation, it don't matter where you start and it don't matter where you end. With a solid foundation in between your start and your finish, it's impossible for your empire to crumble and just the thought process of knowing that strong foundation is what's going to create longevity and anything a person do in this world is next to none so foundation is key and y'all know me like i'm locked in with bossy o tune 45 and just like even with him having his course foundations if you think about it everything comes from the basics when you're doing the basics of anything you're creating this form of foundation and if you have a solidified foundation it's impossible it don't matter how the building get hit it don't matter what things hit the building or what angles they come at the building because you have sturdy foundation that building ain't going nowhere so anybody that's out there doing anything it's barbering it's music it's sports it's schooling it's entrepreneurship it's business you get what i mean like as long as you have foundation it's impossible for that to crumble stay focused stay locked in and i promise y'all like you're gonna achieve everything that you want in the world so now I want to go in after I lay mousse in his hair to lay it down completely straight. I want to close my clippers up and I want to float over the client head and bring everything to that desired look. As you guys can see, you got a lot of fuzzies and things sticking up because gray hair clients have oh, that yeah, stubborn we, hair. That hair is going to stick up. It don't want to lay down. So we force it to lay down with mousse and then go over the top of it and really clean it up. This is where the consistency happened. This is where that solidified look happened. This is when pulling everything forward and everything, you know, furthest from the line, pulling it to the line and getting that real consistent look. And when you get looks like this, this is what's gonna make your, your, your ticket behind the chair go up if you a barber out there. Because at the end of the day, when you out here and you giving these type of looks to clients, it's impossible for them not to continuously to book with you. You bringing stuff to the game that people don't. Not many people don't clean up the top of the head or don't surf over the top of the head. And that little piece of it could literally take a haircut from a eight to a ten. Like it'd be small things. It's the small details that literally put you ahead of your competition. So I wanna go in with my frame out work. I wanna hit the back of the beard. As you guys can see, we got these gray hairs here too. Stubborn but consistent. Hitting the vertical bar area towards the back of the nape area, conforming to the corner of my blade. Once working myself around the ear, staying consistent. I know the hair is light, so in some angles you can't see the lining at its best. But I'm telling you, y'all know beam. I'm sharp, consistent, 
and I'm always at it. Like no matter what happens, I'm always focused on my consistency. So I plant in the middle, work myself to the left, not dropping down on a vertical bar, create my 90 degree angle first before I can go and create, you know, any other angles and do like my C cup and things of that nature. Just giving myself solid foundation, recenter myself in the center, work myself to the right. Drop, vertical bar I'm about to do. Be clean. And now the C cup. Just matching up the sides, making sure that the lineup, you know, is equivalent. Now going in with my pencil and I basically want to create some contrast. My client is a lighter skinned client, so I can't use the nude or the yellowish pen on him because it won't look right on his skin. It'll look yellow because my client is already light skinned. So to give it that more pop, that more contrast, that more concealed look, I go behind it with a pencil and bring its best features out. And as you guys can see, super clean, dog, super clean. Hitting the line, watching it disperse against the skin and just creating a nice, beautiful look. Fire. Fire. Just crazy how it's coming out. Like, it just looks really, 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 really good right now. Like, look at that look. That look hard on a great client. He all natural, too. No color, none of that. It's clean. It's fire. So I lean my client back, angle that razor at a 45 degree angle, stretch the skin, bring everything back to its highest point, giving the beard that heavy, you know, that oh, yeah. whiff look, that clean, distinguished, grown man look. We dust it off, we go back at it, because cleanliness is next to godliness. And the more times you do something, the better it's gonna get. You can't put the shot up one time. Put it up a thousand times, because it's gonna make your work that much more consistent and that much more cleaner. We live in a world of barbering where we were the first form of surgeons. There's no way that you let any client go out the shop with an average haircut when you knew you could have did better. That's not how we play around here. I play for consistency. I play for a high level of precision. And I play for client satisfactory. It's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the big motive behind a chair. If you can satisfy clients, then it don't even matter what type of barber you are Cause at the end of the day you can service your clients And you can do the job that these people were paying you for And you can do the job that's gonna keep people, you know, retained Retention rate is important as well Don't tell me that you the nicest barber out here But you can't get clients to stay It ain't from your price You inconsistent somewhere throughout your service So you work on your services And what you allow the clients to purchase in your service packages And literally elevate and get them the world and satisfy the client. You satisfy the client, you can get looks like this. Insane. Just super fire. So now I'm cleaning up the mustache area. Just making sure that he clean all around the board. My dog quitting. Shout out to you if you watching this video. You know, we getting this Earl Spence and this Terrence Crawford fight hopefully in 2023. And all of the board fans that's here, tell y'all boy stop ducking. Because he want 50-50 and he don't deserve 50-50. <laughs> and I know I just stirred up some mess in my comment section. I know Bud is nice, but man, it's weird how he been ducking my dog Spence. So as you guys can see, in the imperfect world, we get clients, gray hair clients, regular hair clients who come in the shop looking crazy by the head. They need help, but as barbers, this is our job. This is what we do. We're supposed to be able to shake people back to life and incorporate our services to give ultimate haircuts like this. Let's lock in. Y'all know what time it is. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glass Glacier Gang. Y'all know what time it is. Super precise, clean. Like for a gray hair haircut, nasty shout out to my dog quinn shout out to you if you were able to watch this video through and through please like share subscribe and share and turn on that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out